the difficulty of raising the Titanic is tied in many ways to the state of its wreck. Ever since 1912, the wreck has rested on the ocean floor, and that place is extremely unfriendly to all kinds of materials. At about 2.36 miles below the surface, materials face enormous pressure. Yet that's not the only problem. There's a main culprit behind the Titanic's destruction, and it was even named Helomonas Titanicae in honor of the ship. This is a type of bacteria that destroys whatever remains of the vessel once it is wrecked, steadily devouring its structure. This particular bacterium was first discovered right near the Titanic itself, which caused quite a stir. The Halomonas Titanicae bacteria adapted to consume the wood and metal of wrecked ships, and it's targeted the valuable Titanic like a vulture. The Titanic gives this bacterium plenty to feast on. The ship is constructed from thousands of steel plates about one inch thick, and those plates are held together by two million steel and wrought iron rivets. Microbiologist Lori Johnston offered detailed insights on this tiny killer. Halomonas titanicae represents a community of bacteria that work together while feeding on iron and sulfur as their source of nourishment. The waste left behind after these bacteria digest iron and steel is known as rustical. Rustical covers the ship much like stalactites and gradually replaces its original material. Rustical is also made of iron, but it's so fragile that even a slight touch can break the hull plating or interior sections into tiny pieces. Beyond bacteria, the heavy pressure, strong currents, and salty environment all play a part in the ship's collapse. As a direct result, the Titanic's wreck is disappearing at a rapid pace. The circumstances surrounding the Titanic's sinking also boost the speed of its decay. In fact, before it went under, the Titanic split in two, and these parts are now located around 1,970 feet apart. The wooden sections of the vessel have fully decayed, and the metal hull is marked by large openings. The severe condition of the remains is the biggest barrier to raising the Titanic. If there's the slightest slip in handling, the ship will break into countless fragments. Experts say that a sunken vessel can only be hauled up during its first few years underwater, and after that it becomes impossible, as in the Titanic's case. Not all researchers agree that the Titanic has completely disintegrated. For example, in Jane J. Lee's article, there's a suggestion that the Titanic doesn't move from its spot because when it sank, the bow pierced the seabed at around 90 feet down. Lee proposes that the Titanic's main hull is exceptionally strong and what appears in photos are the ship's upper areas, which were weaker than the core structure.